this may not be the most exciting video but we need to talk hello friends welcome we will talk today about inflation sales everywhere what to do backups limited editions should i purchase on a sale is it good for me do i really need to purchase a limited edition item overspending can i uh, deal with everything and all the craziness going on marketing TikTok pushing for old products new products new releases every day tons and tons and tons of new releases rebranding same uh, product old products with another packaging another name what do we do with all that are those influencers telling us the truth are they lying what do we take from that is it good for us this is not good for us what what's this all about how easy you are influenced by marketing and those youtubers tiktokers pushing and lately tiktok is the main social media platform where all the trends are created all trends coming back and all the craziness and using filters to make you think that all is real and they hide the partnerships and they don't tell you that they are getting profit out of your overspending what to do with all this how to handle everything that is going on should i purchase on a sale to end up checking out with more items on my cart that i don't need and that i was not going to purchase on the first place Am I really saving or am I purchasing what I need if I really need it? Backups. Take advantage on the sale and purchase backups of, the, of that moisturizer, of that lipstick that you want. And how long does it take for you to use up a full lipstick? We have tons of products to choose from and typically they all expire before we end, we use them all. I've, I don't remember when was the last time that I used up a full lipstick. If that happened, because if that ever happened, because I don't remember. And moisturizer shampoo everything is constantly evolving and you get two three backups of a product and uh, in 10 years you will not use them you will not use those uh, backups because either they reformulate the product or you decide to try something else something new something different that we think is different because now everything is oil infused hyaluronic acid infused but when you read the ingredients list you see alcohol glycerin and a lot of things that we find in the aquaphor and the Vaseline. And then at the last, at, at, and then last, typically 
in the middle or, or in the end of the list, then you get the oils. Sometimes we don't even see them or we don't, we, we don't even, we are not able to identify those, those ingredients that they claim that the product has or the products uh, have. And this is pretty interesting because what you are really saving generally are the taxes. And by the end of the day, you end up purchasing three, four times because of the marketing. They continue pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing purchasing and 20 lipsticks and you have a thousand lipsticks in your drawer that you are not, that you don't even remember they are there and that you are not using them. You end up purchasing that new lip oil because now every, every, uh, now everything is about lip oils and a month ago everything was about matte makeup and uh, now you see the shiny glowy foundation and the lip oils everywhere liquid blotches everywhere and let's see you maybe you just need one lip oil and one lip gloss a clear lip gloss and a clear uh, lip oil if you have many lipsticks more than three four lipsticks maybe you have a thousand like me and if you look if you open your drawer and you look there you will see you have reds you have pinks you have nudes you have everything you need there so let's take a uh, that clear gloss or, or that clear lip oil and let's uh, mix and match and create something different and um, use what we already have it's not bad to purchase something new and treat yourself what is what is not really good is to overspend and then find out that you don't have money to pay your bills, to pay your house, because you spend in something that you didn't need. And uh, most of all, something that you didn't want. And you just purchase it because you, 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 well, for the pressure of the TikTok and the community and all the marketing mm -hmm. and emails and texts that we receive from the stores, pushing and pushing, and all those TikTokers telling you, buy this, buy that, oh wow, oh my God, and they are telling you that that uh, lipstick or that mascara is magical, it is something different. It is not. And uh, on the other hand, in my experience, um, drugstore products are not as good as um, more expensive uh, products. It doesn't mean that a $50 lipstick would perform better than a $5 lipstick if they exist at this point because I went to Walgreens um, two days ago and um, oh my god drugstore makeup is not two three dollars anymore it's ten twelve dollars a Revlon lipstick it is the like ten or twelve dollars something like that crazy expensive with a plastic cheap uh, ugly packaging and then 
better instead of getting 10 Revlon lipsticks nothing against uh, the brand but get the Fenty one or two Fenty uh, lipsticks and I'm not a fan of Fenty either I don't like the taste of the glosses and everybody seem to love uh, Fenty and Rare Beauty and all that but it's just an example get a a rare beauty one or a fenty one and get one or, or two maybe that's all you need or maybe you don't need any at all and that would be good limited edition products well what's the point of purchasing something that is typically overpriced that sometimes is a product that it's already available and then it will disappear and you will not be able to get it anymore or they decide to release it and make it permanent after they push you and force you with the marketing they made you purchase run and purchase because of the FOMO the fear of missing out and then you find out that the product at the end of the day was not a uh, limited edition they lied to you but what's the point of running to get a powder that is limited edition or they say is limited edition at the end of the day, it's just a powder. It's just another powder. And uh, if you're like me, that I don't use powder, not on a daily basis, sometimes, I don't know, I use powder like once a year. <laughs> and I'm not joking, I don't use powder. I don't like how I look with powder. And I like the natural glow and the glowy up face and skin and the healthy look. So there are powders that are lightweight, like the hourglass, that are my favorites. But uh, you don't need 10 powders. And YouTubers and the creators, some of them run to purchase the new releases because that's their business. So they go and review them for you. And that's awesome. But they do it because that's their business. That's not your case. That's not my situation either. So... I'm speaking out of experience. I, I have, you have no idea. I have purchased during the past 10 years, everything that Tom Ford has released, including perfumes. I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in things that I, I don't need that I didn't need and I will probably never need. And I don't want to open my door. I don't want to organize because I have this guilty feeling and I don't want to see my lipsticks expired. <laughs> At this point, for sure, they are expired most of them are expired $60 lipsticks expired most of them I never ever touched them most of them unused so what would I have done with all the
that money. If I would invest them, I would probably have half a million. And I'm not joking. It is what it is. And that's the truth. And at the end of the day, it's only makeup. So think about it. The same with clothing. I have like a hundred of the same white tank top or t-shirt. Same with the black ones because I love black, white and neutral colors. Do I need the same shirt 10 times? I don't. Same with the shoes. Do I need a hundred of a hundred pairs of shoes? No. I probably don't. Well, think about it when you are going to purchase a sale. Think about it when you are running to get a backup because we are seeing releases constantly and we want the new things and we forget about the things that we already have. And most of all, think about giving money to charity. So if you want to spend a hundred dollars, uh, give them to St. Jude's or to any charity of your preference. So, well, hope this is helpful and uh, see you next time.